Hello there, YouTubers. Today, I'm going to do a review from Manjaro. Uh, Manjaro 0.8.6, I guess. Yeah. Uh, mate Edition. Uh, this is the Mate Edition of Manjaro. By default, Mate Edition was horrible. I'm, I'm going to say it loud, and I'm going to be honest. It was horrible. The reason why it was horrible is that they didn't do much work with it. It was more like slap the interface on, slap it up onto the online, or, or slap it, re, re, uh, remaster it or bundle it up into an ISO and shove it up on the online. That's all they've done. They haven't really done much to the Mate Edition. The things I'm having a problem with Mate Edition, okay. First off, in the installer, it did promise Steam by default. In the Mate Edition, it does not have Steam. So, false information there, I, I really weren't happy with that at all. Um, usually when you promise Steam, you expect Steam. When you promise an application it's going to be in the installer, through the installer it says, oh, Steam's going to be installed by default, or Steam's going to work in the operating system by default, it should be in there by default. Simple as. Uh, second thing about the Linux Mint, Mint, not Linux Mint, uh, Manjaro edition of Nate is that Qt config is not installed on the system. So if you run a Qt application, like let's say Clementine for instance, Clementine is a Qt application, your favorite application, it will look like really much like this. Okay, horrible, nasty, weird blue color. Windows like it's horrible. It's a horrible theme, and it don't match the mint theme. Now you might say, well, usually they should, they usually might not even work in Qt. Well, there should be a manager called Qt Config. And Qt Config is meant to theme the original theme that you have on your desktop. Say, like, I've got the Mint X theme, which did work on Qt applications in Linux Mint, Mint before, so it shouldn't have any issues, you know, running the Linux Mint theme under a Q, on, on a on a Qt application. So. Um, <coughs> So, um, basically, I'm kind of stuck. Uh, I seem to can't get the Qt Config Manager to config the theme the way I want it, so it, so it works a lot better, it looks a lot better. So at the moment, I'm kind of stuck um, in the middle where I just, all the, most of the Qt applications I have on my system just don't look nice. They look horrible, they look nasty, it's a nasty look, and it's a nasty colour. It just needs to be sorted, and I can't sort it out. I've actually made a comment on this on uh, the Qt about Qt config not being or not installed on the system and not working on the system, and no one's had to do that yet. So I thought I'd do a bit of video on negotiation with that. But usually in the mint, uh, in the mint menu, I to install. Uh, in the, in the AUR, the uh, mint menu from AUR does not work. Um, for some reason, there's an error or bug in the mint menu in the AUR version. So I have to go out to Manjaro um, community to download the mint menu from there, and it worked basically. But though at times it'll ask me to reload the menu, which is kind of annoying at times. Um, but yeah, you know, it is quite okay, it does the job. It's, I can get to the applications easy peasy, they work, you know, I have no issues with this mint menu at the moment. But at times it gets annoying when it asks to be reloaded all the time. Um, by my login manager, by default in mint menu you have LXDM. I don't know why LXDM, I am not sure why. LXDM is not my favourite login manager, I really don't like it. It's kind of horrible. <laughs> um, if they had to work more with LightDM and had a graphical uh, manager with LightDM instead of LXDM, I would be more happy to use that than I would do with like with uh, LXDM. The reason why LX why not LXDM is that LXDM looks horrible, and you see you can't really change much in LXDM as much as you can do in LightDM. See in LightDM you can change the whole layout the way you want it to look. Um, so I, I would recommend Manjaro to consider uh, leaving LXDM and supporting LightDM as their main login manager because I would really would love to see LightDM as a login manager by default 
then LXDM because it would be good. Um, what else? I have issues with QT. I'm just minging up problems about Manjaro while I would have improved with Manjaro Linux. Yeah, but LXDM I do not like it. It's horrible, it's nasty. I installed MintDM. I don't want them to support MintDM as it is, but I would love them to see and um, to do more work. Leave LX, abandon LXDM, LXD, yeah, LXDM, and and start using LightDM and work more with LightDM and you know put their own work more into LightDM because I feel that LightDM has different new layer, different layouts, the system. So you run LXDM on a KDE desktop. Doesn't look right. It doesn't match. While well, if you did it in LightDM, it would match and it would make sense. So and LightDM kind of works with all interfaces that kind of works around it. So LightDM probably be more of a better alternative than LXDM. So for login manager, um, I would promise you would like to choose LightDM as more of a better login manager than LXDM. That would be a good consideration for Manjaro to do. Leave LXDM, go back and go into LightDM and work more with LightDM. It would be a lot more better login manager alternatively than LXDM. And they can have their own themes, they can customize it the way they want it, they could use the GTK um, theming, the LXD, the um, QT theming type thing, so it can run in different user environments like Q KDE's QT type theming interface with the 3D stuff and GTK as well so it would be better if they did support like DM and not LXDM okay I would, would love to see LXDM beyond LXDE interfaces not Mate or uh, XFCE or uh, GNOME or KDE I would like to see like DM for that in fact um, yeah other disappointments in uh, thingy. Um, not much really disappointments really in um, much of the main edition. But first thing to point out: make sure Steam is installed on the next version of the main edition of Ninjaro. Steam is very important. Okay. Um, if you promise the install, if you promise Steam on the installer, it's got to be there in by default, no matter what. You can't promise something that's not there. Okay. It's now it's in the repos and all, but make sure it's there. Printer support. I haven't mentioned it yet, but I would like to see printer support by default. At the end of the day, the user is going to go straight on the computer and straight away they want to use their printers. They might want to type a lightboard document and boom, they want to print something. But straight away they can't use the printing system because there is no printing software to print documents. Number, two. Number three. Leave LXDM. Use LightDM as a login manager. It will work with XFCE, GDM, or GNOME and KDE, or Cinnamon KDE interfaces, and Mate interfaces as well. So, if you did work more with LightDM and left LXDM, I would be more grateful for that to happen because I know there's been so much work in LXDM, but LXDM is for LXDE only. I mean, you can run it on other environments. But I would like to see LightDM because it would work a lot more better with LightDM than it would do with LXDM. Okay, just leave LXDM alone. You know, you've done the work for LXDM. You can't do any more than that. I would love to see more development in LightDM and see a bit more like theming changing and stuff like that. So I, so people that use LightDM and prefer LightDM has the options to change the theme in LightDM and easy peasy in a GUI because usually when you're changing the, the layout or the, the user experience in like the end you have to do it in the terminal and it's not that fun to do. Uh, what else? Um, yeah just make sure you don't lie to the users that there are things on there when they're in <laughs> that would be a good uh, alternative in the mate edition. I'm not saying this is the part for all the editions but mate edition entirely. Oh yeah, another thing. Uh, Qt config. Make sure Qt config is on the system. Without Qt config, you run the Qt application. It looks ugly, and it don't work with the system very nicely. It looks really ugly, and there are some Qt applications by default on the mate interface. So Qt config is quite important for the system to have. 
Um, I just want to mention that. Just make sure Qt configs on there. Make sure you've got all the applications you need on the mate, next Mate edition. And I'm hoping they drop LXDM and use LightDM. LightDM would be an alternative, a lot better option for you know logging in. Okay, so thanks for your time, guys. Goodbye.